welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fondo. I'm here at Bob's Bayou Black Marina in Gibson, Louisiana, with Big Chief Monk Boudreaux. We're going to go out and see if we can catch some sakale. Then we're going to go over to Tab Benoit's recording studio and do a little recording. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. usually don't come here because they got a row of pilings that crosses this bay under the water. You can't see it and easy to hit it and mess up your boat. But uh, Mr. L.J. Papa, he's one of the best perch soccer fishermen I know. We following him in here, I know we're not going to hit nothing. And he don't usually even tell anybody where he's fishing. So we're lucky he said, come on if you want to follow me. So, it's his spot. It's his spot. Let's see if we can catch some of his fish. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> My name is Joseph Pierre Monk Boudreaux. I was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana, December the 7th, 1941. And I'm a big chief of the Golden Eagle, Mighty Guy Indians. And I came to be involved in the Indians through my dad because he masked before me. And when we was kids, we used to get up in the morning at 5 o'clock and watch him go out in the morning and sit down in the evening and wait till he come back. But we was taught as kids to keep the tradition going because once it died, it's dead and it's gone, you know. And like right now, all my grandkids come out, all of them. We start them off from, I'm talking about from the day they born. This is a rod and reel Ronnie yesterday left in my boat. It's actually a mismatch. He's got a spin casting reel on a uh, spinning rod, but it works. Good morning, Sakalay. The water is right. Good morning. Time to eat breakfast. I get it, baby. A little bit of one. Yeah, if the little one's hitting. There it is. There it is. There it is. Is that a Sakalay? Gagalai. Gagalai. Keep him, yeah. Monk. What you think, Monk? Yeah. yeah. Fry. Will he fry? <laughs> Put yeah. the power poles down and leave us here a little while. He got, he got that one log he's fishing over there. Get him, Monk. Oh, put that soccer leg in the boat, Monk. That soccer leg. Monk done broke the ice. That soccer There you go, LJ. Got a nice one. That soccer leg fishing there. That soccer leg fishing. I'll even open the cooler for you. Mm -hmm. Just chill out. Like that. Push right. the button, the anchors go down in the back. Yeah, yeah, right. That's not the least fish in there. Yes, indeed, monk. I'm a fisherman from my heart. I learned when I was a kid, and we learned with slaughter poles. And we used to go shoe picking, hurting the old man, and say, man, come on, you, you find something to do, I'm going to take you fishing. So, I said, what I need? And he said, go get your slaughter pole. So I went and bought me a slaughter pole. And we've been, I've been fishing ever since. And I love to fish. I fish anytime, every day. So I met uh, Tony, and uh, he came up. He actually wanted to do some filming. And he met me at the airport and picked me up. He said, uh, what kind of fishing you like to do? I like to do all kind of fishing. He said, well, let's go catch some red fish. I said, well, that's Sound like a winner, then they said, I, he said, well, a lot of kind of fish. I said, I like perch, soccer lay. He said, okay, let's go soccer lay fishing. Here we is, right here today. Oh, get the net, get the net. <laughs> I think I got the lunk out of the day. They're bass, huh? <laughs> Little baby bass. Yeah. Boy, is he pretty. Whoa, hold on, Betty. I'll turn you loose. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, Monk got one. Little Another little soccer leaf. Turn this way, Monk. Oh, yeah. Here we eat. Yeah. Soccer leaf. We release him in the ice chest. Yep. And I'm going to release this little baby back in the water. Yeah, 
Now, if you want, Monk, you can stand on the back of the boat if you want. I think you reach your spot easier. Yeah. <laughs> All you got to do is be patient. That's it. Get that feel, huh? Yeah. Got to be something around this tree, huh, Monk? Yeah, it should be. Like where them soccer leaves like to hang out at. Yeah. The perch. Perch. A keeper? Nah. Let's put him back till he get a little bigger. That's what's out there hitting them little perch. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why we miss them. Yeah. I know you wouldn't miss a soccer league. Uh uh. No, 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 no. Them little perch is hitting out there. Yeah. Boudreaux and Thibodeau tried working at NASA. But every time they said launch, they went eat. <laughs> I was fishing about three feet deep. I'm gonna shallow up about two feet. See what happens. Right here? Oh, that's a mullet. There it is, soccer lay, maybe. Feels like a soccer lay. Oh, he bit like a soccer lay. Yeah. Is it a soccer lay? We'll find out. Yep. Oh, it's a soccer lay. I just missed one just now. Set my pool. Tied it all up. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and stop us right here again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> what we're looking for. Sakale. Or you can call them crappie. The idea of Mardi Gras Indians come from the people in New Orleans. Like I had said before, they had never seen us dressed out as who we really was until Mardi Gras Day. And so they just say, oh, that's the Mardi Gras Indian. So when we parade out at Mardi Gras time, it's the thing that we're celebrating. We all get out, we celebrate, because we didn't wait a whole year just to put on our suit to be who we really were that day and uh, show the other Indians that we did our homework but our bead work and our stone and that we dance and sing. And we have a good time, you know, because we're celebrating that this is the day that we could really come out and be who we really were. There it is. There it is. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Little, Little bass. bass. A big bass. So you could eat him, Monk? Yeah, could I eat him? I know Little, Little bass. Eater. Oh. There you go. <laughs> something biting, huh? We have a good time. We go out. We have a good time. We meet other gangs. They yeah, they have and they, have, they got now, they, have, they may have maybe 50 tribes in New Orleans, close to 50. And we meet up and we, we dance and we, and we communicate with each other through language, we'd be, we, we be talking to each other and letting them know that we did our homework and we're showing our bead work off and our stone work. And a lot of the Indians don't wear beads, don't wear stones, whether they wear beads and uh, secret, but we wear rhinestones and beads. And it's all hand sewed. And you got to sew it yourself, because uh, if you would try to buy it, it would, uh, you know, cost you a fortune. It costs a fortune to make it. But you like triple your fortunes if to buy one, you know, because uh, they run into the seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar range for one Indian suit, a full suit. And here I am today, Big Chief Monk Boudreaux, Chief of the Golden Eagle Mighty Gras Indians. I've been all over the world recording our songs, dance, and I play with Tab Benoit, the voice of the Wetland All Stars. And we go all over and I'll be singing the songs that I was taught as a kid. So this is, this is the 10th year of the Voice of the Wetlands Festival, which I, I'm the president of the organization, Voice of the Wetlands. And uh, we're a nonprofit organization that got started to try to raise awareness about our disappearing coast, you know. And the festival was a way for us to bring in people from out of state and show them what's going on around here and show them 
how great this place is so that when decisions are being made in Congress and other congressmen from other states are shutting down decisions that we're trying to make around here, that, you know, that they have a better understanding of what's going on so they can call a congressman and help us to try to save this place, you know. This was just, this was a way to kind of rally people from all over the country, have them come experience Cajun culture, Cajun cuisine, Cajun music, and, and enjoy the area so that when something's going on around here, it's a part of them that's also missing, you know. Everybody needs to come down and watch the Wetlands Festival. It's, it, this is our, you know, we do this every year. It's every October, the second weekend of October every year. And it's free, it's free to get in. We've got great Cajun cooking, home cooking from real Cajun people from right here. From ingredients from right out of the bayou right here. And great music and a, and a lot of stuff for the kids to do. We get, the, we get the best babysitters on the planet. People come out here with, with their kids, and their kids have a ball all day long, and they got to worry about them. But it's a real community effort. You know, everybody helps put this on. It's not my festival, it's our festival, and everybody helps. And volunteering to help at this event is part of the fun coming to this event, because we all pulling together and carrying the load. And if we all carry a little piece of it together, it's a lot easier to carry that weight, you know? I mean, this is all about joining in a celebration of the coast, but also a rally cry to help save the coast. So it's a very important event, and it's fun. And down here, one thing that Cajun people are really experts at, that's we know how to have fun and get something done. That's one. It's showing. Oh, it's chocolate this time, buddy. Mr. Chocolate. Middle of the day. Middle of the day, chocolate. Yeah, don't Your talk. Feet. Don't talk till you Stay get him in. The, yeah, don't talk till you get him in the boat now. Oh, he's in the boat now. Because <laughs> sometimes he. That him looks good. Hold still, buddy. Oh, I had him hook good, yeah. Now I'm using the same bait as Monk. Yep. Little triple tail. It's uh, black with a short truce tail. Yep. Black and red with a short truce tail. I'll show you. A little curly tail, but at the end it's like three tips. That's, that's why they call it a triple tail. A little black crappie. See all the specks. Beautiful fish. And delicious. Got out on the fishing pond, that soccer lid biting slow because uh, the water ain't right. So we, yeah, they had a full moon last night. I guess they must have fed all night. So we, we scrapped around. We was able to pick up a few soccer lid, bass, perch. But uh, we trying to wait on this rain to stop so we can get back out there and finish it up. Because you know, once you go to fishing, you ain't ready to leave too soon. Fish on. Uncut. A sock and lay, mom. Sock and lay. Here, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, look at that. I told you when that rain come down, the sock and lay start biting, man. <laughs> they, they sitting under them trees. There's a log that goes into the water at an angle. That's where I'm fishing over where that log is submerged. I am so into you. I can't think of nothing else. Chocolate. Chocolate fishing in the rain. Yeah. Big cheap monk boudreau. <laughs> Chocolate fishing in the rain. That's why Pop be sitting over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know that? Sir? That's why Pop be sitting over here. Yes, now we know. They'd be biting like they were in Toledo Bend. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's right. And you ain't had no problem. You need a cap with a hole in the ground. All right, now. Start all over again. Look at that little thing. Oh, 
fish on. Strike a lay, I'll see it from here. Strike a lay. Oh, I got one too. Strike a lay. That's mine. I was, I was messing with the power pole. You must have didn't hear what I said. Uh, I said, let me see where one at. I said, right over here. Yeah, let's get a good look at it. Yeah, buddy. That's a real soccer Good soccer All right, soccer It might be lunch, lunch, too. Finally got to use my sunglasses today. It was cloudy this morning, and it started raining on us. Now the sun's shining. Gold figure. One thing about South Louisiana, if you don't like the weather, just hang around. It'll change. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, you got a fish on. Fish on. Nice soccer lake. Do it this way they at, huh? We we're this? looking at a styrofoam cup that's floating <laughs> in the water that uh, we think, we're pretty sure it flew out of our boat, so we will pick it up. Didn't I tell you this way they at? Monk told us this is where they at. Listen to the birds in the sky. You know they're going to bring you home. Welcome back. Here we are at Tab Benoit's recording studio. Get ready to be entertained as Chief Monk Boudreaux lays down some vocals and percussion to Damon Fowler's new song, Sounds of Home. Afternoon thunder, warm citrus breeze. Mosquitoes are humming like a mower cutting weed. Shades of black The clouds split open When the lightning cracks When I'm wide open All alone I'm tired of hoping For the sounds of home Oh, let me tell if you think you're all alone Listen to the birds in the sky You know they're gonna bring you home You just say all alone So I sit down and I sit Listen to the bluebird Listen to the old alligator when he was front Listen to the hummingbird Bring you back About you, but I had a blast. Oh man, I had a great time. Uh, you gotta do it again. Absolutely. Well, as always, you gotta give a special thanks to our veterans and our active troops. We appreciate all you do. Wouldn't be for you, we wouldn't have our freedom. So until next time, you ready, Monk? Let's tell them what to do. Keep, Keep on, on casting. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Boudreau was in the middle of a deep sleep. All of a sudden, Marie hit him with her elbow, said, wake up, Boudreaux, there's smoke coming out of the kitchen.
So Boudreau got on the phone. He called the fire department. He said, this is Boudreau. You'll need to hurry and get down here to my house. My house is on fire. The chief said, OK, Boudreau, how do we get there? He said, well, don't y'all still have that big red truck? Uh -huh.